What is happening, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Hoping out there is doing good. You feel me? So, uh, I was driving around earlier today and it kind of came to my attention that uh, my temporary license is expiring this weekend. And unfortunately, the DMV is not open on the weekend. So, I have to go down to the DMV tomorrow before my temporary license thing expires uh, which means I gotta go take the test with COVID um, to get my my uh, my license reinstated or whatever so so I figured it'd be a good video to make um, on how to pass the uh, the driving test here in California so I got the uh, book here California driving handbook driver's handbook <coughs> it's got all the all the tips and tricks so I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you guys how to get your license in California brother all right let's uh let's pop open this book here you know you're gonna watch this video you're gonna be able to pass the the DMV the driving written exam no problem no problemo Yo, what's up? My name's my name's so and so. I got COVID. Look at me. Look at me. Look at all the all the COVID you got. Hey, look at look at you. Look at me with the COVID. All right, let's see here. It's just a bunch of bunch of rules. You don't got to read those. The testing process, the knowledge test. That's what we're going to be doing the studying for. Number two, knowledge test. You need to understand traffic laws and safety to get your driver's license. When you apply for original driver's license, you must pass a knowledge test. You are not allowed to cheat. <coughs> well, guess what? If you watch this video, you don't need to cheat. Jesus Christ, we're at page 21. We're at page 21. 22. Hand-to-hand -hand steering. Also known as push-pull steering. What the hell is that? What are you talking about? Signals. Left turn. Boom. Right turn. Boom. Slow to stop. Boom. All you gotta do, at least 100 feet before you turn. Uh, using your horn. Use your horn to avoid collisions. Alert another driver of a hazard. Oncoming traffic on narrow mountain roads where you cannot see at least 200 feet in front of your vehicle. Do not use your horn to urge a slow-moving driver or bicyclist to go faster and get out of your way. The driver or bicyclist may not be able to safely go faster. Uh, what else can you do? Uh, don't express your anger with the horn. That sounds therefore using your headlights. When it's too dark to see, use your headlights if you cannot clearly recognize a person or vehicle from a thousand feet away. Beginning 30 minutes after sunset until 30 minutes before sunrise. In adverse weather. When conditions such as clouds, dust, smoke, fog prevent you from seeing vehicles. On small country or mountain roads, tunnels. Even on sunny days. When a regulatory white sign. Those white signs always telling you what to do with your life. Uh, when using your emergency flashers, turn on your flashers. If you see a collision or hazard ahead, warn drivers behind you. Turn on the emergency flashers. Lightly tap your brake pedal three to four times. I thought that was just like a driver thing. Use a hand signal. Never stop on the road unless it's necessary to stay safe or obey the law. Give others plenty of warning that you're pulling over. Turn on your emergency flashers when you're not moving. If your vehicle does not have emergency flashers, use your turn signals. Pull off the road away from traffic. You cannot get da da da. Shh, nothing. Traffic lanes, lane marking, single solid yellow line. A single solid yellow line marks the center of the road with two way traffic. Do not cross over this, you don't cross the mustard. Double solid yellow lines. Do not pass over double solid. The. Do not pass over double solid yellow lines. Never, 
Never to the left of these lines unless you are a HOV. Instructed by construction or turn left across a single set of double yellow lines to enter or exit a driveway or private road or to make a U-turn. Can't just do that. What else we got? Broken yellow line. Broken yellow line means you can pass if the broken line is next to your driving lane. Only when it's safe to pass. Single solid white line. A single solid white line marks traffic li lanes going in the same directions. Double solid white lines. Double solid white lines indicate a lane barrier between a regular use and pre pre preferential use lane such as carpool lane broken white line broken white line separates traffic lanes on roads with two or more lanes in the same direction end of lane markings ending freeway and street lanes are usually marked with large broken lines yield lines a yield line is a solid line of triangles that shows approaching vehicles where to yield or stop all right, choosing a lane. Choose your get in your lane. Changing lanes. Uh, passing lanes. We're still going on types of lanes here. What else do we got? Center left turn lanes. A center left lane is a, located in the middle of a two-way street and it's marked on both sides by two painted lines. The inner line is broken and the outer line is solid. Use the center turn left turn lane to prepare for and make a left turn or a U-turn. You may only drive for 200 feet in the center left turn lane. I bet I could go further. To turn left from this lane, look over for other vehicles coming towards you in the center. Signal, look over your shoulder, check your blind spot. Check your blind spot. What else we got? We got turnout areas or lanes. Bicycle lanes. That's my lane. That's where I ride my bike. Turning. Turning right. Drive close to the right edge of the road. You, you can drive in a bike lane, but wait until you enter. Wait to enter until you are 200 feet from the turn. Check for bicyclists. Check watch out for watch out for me. Riding my bike. Begin signaling about a hundred feet before the turn. Important. What else we got? Right turn against red light. You may turn right at a red unless there's a no turn on red sign. Learn how to read. Turn right against a red arrow. You may not do that. Don't do that. Right turn at a public transit bus lane. It is illegal to drive, stop, park, or leave a vehicle in an area designated for public transit buses. Just don't get hit by the bus. Keanu Reeves, don't stop. Turning left, drive close to the center divider or into the left turn lane. Start signaling 100 feet before your turn. Look over your left shoulder and reduce your speed. Don't go fast. Reduce it. What else we got? U-turns. U-turn is when you, you want to turn your vehicle to go back in the direction you came. You may make an illegal U-turn across a double yellow line. I don't believe that. In a residential district. Don't do that either. Never make a U-turn where no U-turn sign is made on a divided highway. Just don't do it. Page 36, examples of turns. You don't need to know this. You don't need to know this. Merging and exiting, very important. Merge. Enter at near the same speed of traffic. I always go a little faster because you never know. Exiting, passing. Crossing, entering traffic. You're not going to go over that. Parking. Parallel parking is when you park parallel to the road in line with other parked vehicles. Look, it tells you how to do it. You got no reason not to pass the test. 
<clears throat> Parking on a hill. Turn the wheels so the vehicle will not roll into the street of the brakes fail. That never happens. Heading downhill. Turn your front wheels into the curb or toward the side of the road. Set the parking brake. Head it uphill. Turn your front wheels away from the curb and let your vehicle roll back a few inches. Your tire should lightly touch the curb. Set the parking brake. What else we got? Painted color curbs have special parking rules. White. Stop only long enough to pick up or drop off passengers. Green! Park for a limited amount of time. It's usually posted on a sign next to the curb. Yellow. Load and unload passengers and freight. If you go to Harbor Freight a lot, that's what you need to do. Park in the yellow. Red. No stopping standing parking. Buses may stop there, though, so I guess rules don't apply to buses. Blue. That's parking for the crap. Uh, illegal parking. Don't do it. Electric vehicles can reserve parking spaces on public street for parking for charging purposes. It's green driving. Driving green is maximizing your, your fuel efficiency to help lower your emissions. We don't need to know that. Law enforcement stops. Ignore that. We don't stop. We just kept floating. What else is there? Section 10, laws and rules of the road. Solid red light means stop. Do not see a no turn on red sign posted. Stop at the light before you turn. Then you can make the turn. What else we got? Yellow, we got red arrows, I mean. Red arrow means stop. Do not make that turn. It's a red arrow. Flashing red light, that's like a stop sign. You're still going to stop. Yellow. Solid yellow light means caution. The light is about to turn red. Yellow arrow means protected turning time is ending. You might want to get through that intersection, bud. Flashing yellow means warning. Proceed with caution. Slow down. Flashing yellow arrow means you could turn, but it's not protected from other traffic. That means you got to wait. Yield. Green arrow means go. Traffic signal light not working. Blackout. Stop and let someone else go. Then you go. Unless you got there first. Pedestrian signals. Walk or walking person. It's legal for you to cross the street in your car, I guess. Don't walk. Raised hand. Flashing don't walk or flashing raised hand. Don't do it. Don't walk. You're going to get hit by a truck. Uh, numbers. Numbers count down so you know how many seconds are left you can cross in the street. If you're a pedestrian. What else do we got? Beeping sounds, chirping, verbal messages. Help blind people get across the street so they don't get hit by a car. Grandma didn't get hit by a, a reindeer. She got hit by a Dodge. Dodge Ram. Rammed her. S red stop sign means stop. Red yield sign means yield. What other signs we got? We got the no U-turn. We got the no left turn. We got the no right turn. Great. White regulatory signs. These only apply to the whites. Two-way traffic ahead. No parking anytime. Yield uphill traffic. You don't got to know all that. Highway construction maintenance signs. Don't need to know that. Guide signs. You got a green airplane. Watch out for the green airplanes with the guy skiing. Rest area one mile. Hazardous place cards. Don't blow up. What else we got? Warning signs. Slippery when wet. That's your favorite. Uh, merging traffic. Divided highway. Two-way traffic. Lane ends. And divided highway. Traffic signal ahead. You should know that. Pedestrian crossing. Watch out for the big, big guy. Uh, added lane. Crossroads. Stop ahead. Yield ahead. Directional arrow. Is that it? Is that it? Of course not. There's there's a notes section. Roundabouts. Slow down as you approach. Yield to all traffic. Yeah, we don't have too many roundabouts. We're going to skip that section. Pedestrians who are blind. I don't know why this is your fault. You didn't you didn't spray the acid in their face sharing the road.
Don't need it. I don't care. Oh, actually important. Shaded areas in this image are where truck driver's blind spots are at. Look at it. You can't see them if they can't see you. All right, buddy. I thought this said barking, but it says braking. I was like, what are dogs? Dogs aren't supposed to be driving unless it's like a Tesla or something. Uh, maneuvering. Sure. Yeah, you should know how to maneuver. What else we got? Motorcycles have the same rights and responsibilities as car and truck drivers. Only they'll get hit and they will die. That's why I don't ride a motorcycle. I ride a bicycle. So if I hit by a bike, if I get hit while I'm riding my bike, no one will know who did it. Just throw me in the trash. What else, where are we at? 14 minutes and 37 seconds, you guys. We're going to get through this test, no problem. What else do we got? Bicycles have the same rights. No, they... Bicycles have no rights. Just hit them. Uh, passing a bicyclist. Don't pass a bicyclist. Just nudge them off the road. Help them get on the sidewalk where they're supposed to be riding their bike. What else do we got? Um... If this, if I don't pass the test and you don't pass the test, then no one passes the test because we're reading the book together. 75 pages into this, you guys. Uh, evading law enforcement is a misdemeanor to use a vehicle to attempt to flee uh, law enforcement performing their duties. This is punishable by imprisonment. County jail for one year. That's six months. Or less. Um... A person convicted of causing serious bodily injury while during the course of a law enforcement pursuit is subject up to imprisonment in the state prison for seven years. Jesus Christ, you just don't pull over. If you're, if you're not pulling over, don't pull over, period. Just get away from the police. Go make up an alibi and get away from them. You don't want to you know, end up serving seven years. Excuse me, my COVID throat. Uh, you can get a fine between $2,000 and $10,000. Or you could be fined and imprisoned. A person convicted of manslaughter resulting from evading law enforcement during the pursuit is subject to imprisonment in a state prison. You go to the feds for 4 to 10 years. That's not that long. Uh, speed contests and reckless driving. They're subject to imprisonment, a fine, or both a imprisonment and a fine. Points on your record, your license may be suspended when your driving record shows one of the following total point totals. Four points in 12 months, six points in 24 months, eight points in 36 months. Jesus Christ, just don't pull over. You can't get points if you don't pull over. What else we got? Beware of your surroundings. Watch out for me. I'm driving ye. Tailgating. Don't follow too closely. Know what is on at your side. Keep that thing on you. Keep that Glenock cocked and ready. Your ear, keep, keep your buddy on your side. Do not stay in another driver's blind spot. That's how you get hit by a truck. Uh, freeway exits. Do not drive alongside other vehicles. Just drive behind them. This book is just we're gonna get, we're gonna pass this test and we're never gonna get pulled over. Blind spots. Don't close your eyes while you're driving. No blind spots. Okay. Understand road conditions. Sometimes it gets dark. If it's 3 p.m., it's dark. Understand. Sun glare. Put on your your Ray Bans or your 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 Hell Yeah Brothers. Your pits. Get your pit vipers on. Watch out for the sun glare, the slippery roads. That's why B's favorite. Uh, wet road, go 5 to 10 miles per hour slower. Pack snow, reduce your speed by half. What if you're already going half as slow as you are going fast? Book, I right, slow to a crawl. Don't even bother. Flooded roads, drive straight through that as fast as possible. That way you hydroplane over the top of the water. If you see other people slowing down and pulling off the road because the road is flooded, ignore them. Speed past them and just go straight through that water because you never know how long that water is going to be there for. You might not be able to get home. Just drive right over it. 
Your tires have air in them for a reason, so you float. Let's see, flooded roads, uh, fog or heavy smoke, don't be burning it down. Don't be doing the puff puff pass while you're driving, because then you get the heavy smoke. You hotbox your car, you won't be able to see. What else do we got? High winds. That's when the winds are getting high. It's California, everything's smoking. Everything's getting lifted up, brother. Everything's got five on it. What else we got? Hills and curves. I love those. Traffic congestion. I got some congestion in my traffic in my lungs right now. Traffic brakes. Don't take no brakes. If you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. Uh, protect yourself and your passengers. Wear your seatbelt. If you don't wear your seatbelt, how are they going to know whether or not you died in the car accident? They're not going to know. Children 8 and under who are less than 4 feet 9 inches tall. So keep a, keep a, keep a uh, tape measure with you. Um, don't let them drink the airbags. When you get in a car accident, throw them in the back seat. Then crash with the kids. Manage your speed. Choose between hazards. I'm going to choose this hazard over the next hazard. Done. I'm, I've chosen. Um, slippery surface skids. Do some drifts. Do some figure eights. Swing supper. See where we're at. 20 minutes. We're almost done, you guys. You almost passed the test. Uh, driving off the pavement. If you want to get some Ken Block, R.I.P. Ken Block, drifts and skids in there, you get drive off the pavement. Accelerator malfunction. If your accelerator malfunctions, put it in neutral, slam on the brakes, rip the e-brake, and then turn on your hazard lights. Turn your steering wheel as hard as you can to either the left or the right. That way you can slide to a safe stop. All right. Um, collisions. Don't do them. Uh, causes of collisions, distracted driving, unsafe speed, improper turns, not following the right of way rules, not following stop signals and signs, driving on the wrong side of the road, a vehicle traveling faster or slower than the flow of traffic, get out my way, I gotta get to McDonald's. Uh, what to do if you are in a collision, don't die, number one rule says it right here, you must stop. Unless you want to do a hit and run. If you want to leave the scene of an accident, you may do a hit and run. Just make sure you pick up your license plate off of the ground and you get rid of any witnesses. This is very important. Call 911 if you're a snitch. Uh, reporting a collision. Don't do that. Driving without insurance. Don't pull over. Um... Let's see what else we got. If a vehicle becomes disabled on the freeway, safely pull over to the right shoulder. Exit on the right side. So pull over to the right, flip your car 180, exit out the right side, back into traffic. All right. We're almost done, you guys. Um, if you see a train approaching with warning lights that are not flashing Exit your vehicle, immediately dial the emergency notification system located on the railroad crossing. Uh, provide a location. Why would you stop? Get out. Don't get out. Drive your car off of the fucking road, off the fucking train tracks, you fucking idiot. All right. Alcohol and drugs. Don't do them. Don't do them unless you want to have fun. Um, how many drinks can you have? If you're an M, you can have a couple. If you're an F, you can only have one. So, just don't do it. DUI arrest. That's how you end up at the DMV at 33, taking the test again. Uh, vehicle registration, buying or selling a vehicle. None of this matters. This isn't going to be on the test. Uh, insurance requirement. Insurance must be able to cover... Up to 30 grand. Uh, that's it, you guys. Congratulations. You passed the driving test, and now you have a license. And you can do whatever you want now. Thanks for watching, you guys. This has been a for real time educational video. Um, and we, we used the California Driver's Handbook from 2021. And we're going to pass the test in 2023, you guys. We did it. So congratulations. 
make sure that you 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 follow all the rules and make sure that you watch this video all the way through 23 minutes and 55 seconds 57 seconds watch my video you will learn how to drive in California this is very important um, stay tuned for the rest of these videos these are very helpful videos and I'm gonna teach you how to drive in California so DMV CA.gov English 2021 we did it you guys thanks for watching peace out good luck you're a driver now